Welcome to the Social Marketing Course Map, where we are going to talk you through the learning outcomes and the assessment tasks. First up, what you're going to aim to achieve from doing social marketing is to walk away with three new skill sets. First, this is a course that is based on the social marketing philosophy of adaptation and adoption. At the end of the semester, you should be able to look at a social problem and draw on a wide range of commercial marketing toolkits, techniques, theories, ideas, and apply those to solve a social change problem. Second is the adaptation, adoption, and implementation approach so that whilst the first element is BSA, how do we use marketing? The second one is how do we change marketing so that marketing can functionally get the job done in terms of presenting a marketing-led, marketing-oriented solution for a social problem. And the third step is to then be able to overview marketing as a method and mechanism. What are the edge cases? What are the endpoints? Where is marketing most effective? Where is marketing ineffective? One of the dangers that we have when people encounter social marketing is that they now arm themselves with the social marketing hammer and see every social problem as a nail. So I've got a toolkit, I'll apply it, what I want my students to be able to walk away with is the ability to go, I have a specific purpose toolkit, I can adapt the existing commercial tools and techniques, and I know when it's not our job and we need to hand off to another social change mechanism. So, focusing on learning outcome number one first. This is the question of the applied principles of commercial marketing to social change. It will be examined through SA1, and it does link heavily to the way in which you adopt a definition of social marketing. So when you pick up and apply a meaning to the term social marketing, it will influence the way in which you can use commercial marketing to solve a problem. So addressing the first assignment task, the marketing theory that's in operation here is relatively overt and obvious, but not always straightforward. So what you are being asked to do is to specify a problem. Show me what the problem is, how marketing would bring about a marketing strategy to address this problem, and this is your commercial marketing thinking. You're talking here about a product specification, a problem specification, a solution, and which marketing strategy is involved in the solution. You then will briefly overview a value offer. Now, you're gonna spend a lot more time on the value offer on the lead up to the second paper, but here you're gonna give me a rough pitch. Then, and this is the point most people struggle with, is that you're going to need to undertake marketing segmentation as a practice, briefly overview the whole market, and then pick a specific, single target audience within that overall market. And this, when we talk about the overview of key consumer behavior theory, if you are Using a marketing strategy on a chosen target market, you have automatically got a consumer behavior theory in mind. If it's a new product to a market, you're somewhere in innovation adoption. If it's an existing product to a market, you're somewhere down the midpoint. You're looking at um, approaches that are basically draw on the existing frameworks, treat it like a problem, to be solved with marketing, 
and solve it with marketing. On to the specifics of the task. The most important thing, the thing that people have struggled in the 10 years that I have run assessment tasks like this, this is the single greatest challenge. You can only have one audience, and that audience needs to be narrowly defined, it needs to be specific, and it needs to be responsive as an audience. So you can't have multiple audiences, you can't have multiple options, you only get one, it's single, it's specific, it's narrowly defined. And this is the make or break point. This is what I'll hammer you on in the assessment task. This is where you will score points or burn points. So for the actual, the essay itself, the tasks leading up to writing out an answer for me is look at your social problem. Think about how will you best approach this as a marketer? What's your best marketing strategic approach to get a solution heading towards solving this problem? How are you gonna do it as a marketer? What's your social marketing game plan? Then start thinking in terms of, you've got a definition of commercial marketing, you've got a definition of social marketing. How are the assets at your disposal going to help you solve, help you bring this solution to the market? Then we want a story about the markets. You're gonna tell me about a set of market segments who could be responsive, and from within that, set of choices, you're going to give me one single target audience. One. And if you're already starting to go, oh, yeah, I know, he said one, you're most likely to go and try and give me two or three. One single, specific, narrowly defined target audience. You are then going to justify it. You're going to justify it for a little bit of consumer behavior, and that's why CB theory is important here, is that you're going to bring in the relevant consumer behavior theory that suits your marketing strategy, that enables you to put this solution in front of your target audience. And this is how you are going to apply commercial marketing theory to a social problem. All your theories that you are using in marketing strategy and in consumer behavior and in the segmentation selection are the same frameworks you'd use for a commercial product. It's the same theory, it's just a different product that you're trying to solve here. It's a different problem, but it's the same commercial theory. And that's what I want you thinking. Think like a marketer, think commercial marketing. Think how would Coca-Cola get out of this one? How would Pepsi get out of this one? How would Apple or Google or Microsoft, how would they attack a scenario where they needed to pick an audience that best responded to their marketing needs? All right, technical specifications, because this is the question I always get asked. I always get asked about the word limit, 2500 plus or minus 10% rule is in effect. With regards to the word limit, if you are struggling to get up to the word limit, then you have not interpreted the question correctly. If you are struggling to stay within the word limit, you have not made some of the hard decisions, you have not focused. Any directly quoted materials count to the word limit, which is why I say direct quotes are a waste of words. So, paraphrase. Citation, acknowledge your influences, but avoid direct quotes as much as you can because they cost your words and they're really hard to use well. Presentation requirements, any reference format is fair game. I read any style and I have no aversion to any particular or no preference to any particular referencing format. In terms of presenting it, uh, if you want to cut me some slack, it will be in size 12 times New Roman, double spaced, 
or size 10 trebuchet, one and a half space or double space. That way it's easy for me to read and the easier it is for me to read, the less likely I am to have problems figuring out what you wrote. It will be an upload to turn it in. You will be uh, finding the text matching software engaging. I have no minimum catch limit on text match. A 1% can sink an entire semester because I look at the intent of the match, not the substance of the match. If you match a whole of your reference list, then I will applaud for your accuracy. But if you match a whole bunch of your text or any significant portion of your text that you try and pass off as your own work, then you're doomed. You're gone. I will show no mercy and I will be also mocking you openly because this is a very easy assignment to get right in terms of originality and interpretation. It's also an assignment that is designed to train you to use specific techniques of adaptation and taking principles and applying principles rather than block bringing other people's words and hoping they work. So, assessment task one, as always, if you need me, the contact points, the on the Instagram, on the Twitter, or face-to-face -face meeting, or over email. Feel free to clarify your questions, feel free to ask for advice, feel free to bounce ideas backwards and forwards. Draft reads are done through Turn It In, idea exchanges of, hey, am I headed in the right direction? This is roughly what I want to do. Do that over email. Short, fast questions, do that over Twitter.